Oh, good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mari. Welcome. So happy to have you. If you're not new, welcome back. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I don't know why. So, a lot to update you on. I think most of you know, but exciting announcement. I have begun a diet. I have begun a fat loss phase. As you guys know, I was bulking or eating in excess calories the past three months or so in attempts to put on muscle. But of course, when you're doing that, you tend to put on a little fat as well, which I was absolutely fine with. I was really happy with how I looked. But now it is time to cut. That is the phrase that a lot of people use when it comes to cutting fat. They'll say they're starting a cut. I know I use that that term on my Instagram and some people didn't know what it was. That's what it is. So I'm really excited to see what I can do this time around. I have a lot more muscle than the last time I cut. I have a couple of reasons why I'm cutting. One, we are going on vacation around Thanksgiving time. We haven't decided where yet, but we know we're going away somewhere warm. So obviously I wanna cut fat for the vacation. But two, I thought it was a great opportunity to show you guys how I approach fat loss. But I really wanna show you guys how I do it, my method, uh, maybe we can bust some fat loss myths. Yeah, I just want to kind of teach you guys how I do it and maybe I can give you some meal ideas, some, you know, diet ideas, whatever it may be. So I'll definitely go more in depth about my fat loss method in this video, but it's also going to be a full day of eating because I want to kind of show you guys how I'm starting out. I've actually already eaten my breakfast. I'm so sorry. Greg was out with the car and the camera was in the car, but I did get proof of my breakfast. You guys know what it is. It's always the same. I had four whole eggs with three ounces of salmon locks and a big cup of tea. I am loosely tracking my food, so I did weigh out the locks to see how much it was and I am putting it into my fitness pal, which is where I keep track of my food. Today we have a lot going on actually. Abby arrives in, Abby is our personal assistant. I'm actually in the Mari Fitness office right now. Abby arrives in an hour and a half. We have a lot of work to do today. A lot of Mari Fitness business going on. A lot of cool products coming out super soon, guys. Let's do it. First thing on the agenda, I need to clean the entire house because it's very messy. You guys are coming with me. Welcome to my kitchen guys. I've been doing work for the past like hour or so. Abby is here, we're discussing Mari Fitness business. Before I get going on my next meal, I wanna tell you guys we are trying to come out with a new color resistance band. Same resistance band, same everything, the same band we know and love, but we wanna do a new color. I would like to do a sky blue, baby blue type vibe. If you have a particular color you'd like to see, please comment below we need your input because that's all that really matters here today i'm training quads so i need to have kind of a big meal right now because quads take a lot of energy out of me basically how my diet is right now is that the first half of my day is pretty high fat and low carb that's just how i feel best if i have carbs at the beginning of my day i tend to crash and then after my workout i start having my carbs and then i have carbs for dinner usually i'll give you guys a little bit of a fridge tour. So as I said, our fridge broke, which is great. So now we have this new fridge. And so far we basically just have a shiz ton of eggs, shiz ton of guac, salad mix, steaks, and condiments. Thinking of making one of these bison steaks with some beans and guac for a little burrito bowl. Oh my gosh, salsa, yes. Salsa is a great thing to add to your food for lower calories and a lot more taste. I said that weird, but you get what I mean. Okay, so I am making the bison steak. Oh, frick, I'm gonna use this. I spray the pan 
with a little coconut spray. I'm basically just gonna cook every single steak that I have because Greg's gonna have some, I'm gonna have some post-workout, so I'm gonna bulk prep this steak right now. And we often do this with protein because it's so annoying to just keep cooking meat throughout the day, if you know what I mean. Now I'm going to salt up my steaks. Also gonna add some onion powder here. Make them extra flavorful. Our second steak here. With steak, we usually do three to four minutes each side. I like my steak medium rare, so you could do longer if you wanted. And then once the steak is done, I'm gonna show you guys how I weigh out my food and track my food. As I said before, I'm gonna make a little bit of a burrito bowl. So I'm gonna throw these onto my cutting board. So that is perfect for me. I'm also gonna trim the fat off actually, cause I'm gonna add guac, which is gonna add a little bit of fat. So I have my scale and I'm just going to pop my bowl on top. Now I'm gonna hit zero out and now I'm gonna add the steak and I'm hoping to get around three to four ounces. All right, now we have our bowl of steak. What I'm gonna do is go on my fitness pal and type in bison steak. Here we go and change it to four ounces, which is 130 calories, 24 grams of protein. We'll put my bowl back on the scale, zero it out. Add some beans, two ounces of this guac. And salsa is so low calorie that I'm just gonna throw some in. And that is the final product. I'm so excited to eat this. It looks so good. So now we're in Blueberry, about to head to the gym. I wanna give you guys a little bit of an update on what I'm doing in the gym in terms of fat loss. I'm gonna try and bring you guys in the gym. So I'm doing a quad workout today and I get a lot of questions about the types of workouts I do. Every single workout I do comes right out of my guide. So let's pull up a quad day. Week one, day three is a perfect quad workout for me. All these workouts are literally workouts that I do every day. When I started this diet a week ago, I was doing zero cardio. Now I'm doing 10 minutes either on the Stairmaster or on the treadmill on upper body days, but that's it. I do not do cardio on lower body days. They take too many calories as it is. I want all that energy going into my leg workout. So no cardio. Oh, and a lot of you ask me about these shoes. Oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. That was so talented. The Nike Metcons are amazing for leg day. I used to wear Converse, I like these better. You need a nice flat bottom for leg day because you need to be able to push through your heels and stay stable. See you guys at the gym. So as you guys can see, I'm starting out my workout, warming up my hips. That's super important for me because I've had a hip impingement before. So I'm doing some hip stretches here. And then I go right into some hamstring stretches. I'm sorry about this angle. I was recording by myself. And then I did some quad stretches as well. And then I am popping on my Mari Fitness Band to do some warm-ups. This is so essential if you have trouble activating your glutes. It's just a great warm-up for your legs in general. So I'm doing some banded cha-chas, which is one of my favorite activation movements, just to get my glutes ready for squatting. This is another exercise I like to do to warm up the glutes. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like a dog peeing, so I call it the fire hydrant exercise. Whenever I'm squatting, I make sure to do a warm-up squat exercise with just the bar on my back, no weight. This is super important just for getting your legs warmed up and getting yourself ready for some weighted squats. So now I'm just gonna let the rest of the workout play. It's pretty self-explanatory. In terms of the squats, you're gonna see me start here with 10 pounds on each side and work my way up to 45 pounds. So yeah, let's do it.
which I'm really proud of myself for. So I hope you enjoyed that footage. As you can see, I'm very sweaty. But luckily, I have a very nice boyfriend slash chef who's making me shrimp fried rice. Post-workout meal. Protein source should be lean. So what's like a lean protein source? White meat, chicken and turkey, super red steak or beef, which would be like a 90 plus percent lean beef, or shrimp, scallops, white fish. So it's generally a protein source post-workout. We don't want fat post-workout. You know, you're gonna be absorbing nutrients post-workout. You don't wanna be absorbing a fat, right? You wanna be absorbing carbs. It's gonna refuel that muscle, refuel all that glycogen you just burned off. And you want protein to help rebuild all that muscle you just tore down. Shrimp, wild caught shrimp from Whole Foods. It's back 20 bucks, but it's like two pounds and it's wild caught. So, you know, we know this animal ate what it should have been eating. Easy veggie mix. Just a little bit of fiber, help move things around. That's it. Next, we have a rice cooker going all the time. So whenever we need a meal and we need some carbs, pop into the rice cooker, grab some rice. There's some beans in there also right now. Super yummy. Then, so I defrosted the shrimp, just put it in a strainer with some water, defrosted them for 10 minutes, threw them in the pan, cooked them up with just some salt, then threw the rice in, a little bit of coconut oil. Mori, are we at a hibachi right now? This is, one cup of rice, six ounces of shrimp. Gains. I'm gonna go eat this and then I will check in with you guys when I have a snack. Bye. Hello. So I'm ready for my concert. I feel like a little weird. <laughs> I don't know how to dress for a concert, whatever. So I am preparing a little bit of a snack that I'm going to bring to Dakota's house. Okay, here's my idea. I'm gonna have my snack now and bring these with me to Dakota's and I'll bring a protein shake. That's what I'll do. So I'm gonna show you how to make a little rice cake snack right now, high protein. I feel like this video is gonna be like 25 minutes long with the amount of recipes of talking I've done, but I just missed you guys, you know? Okay, so I'm weighing my bowl, setting it to zero. We want four ounces in here. But I got this avocado mayo. All right, so now we need our rice cakes. Not the most beautiful of snacks, but it's very nutritious and delicious. You could pack the tuna salad in a Tupperware for work, bring your rice cakes and you are set. I'm gonna go eat my snack and I will check in with you guys before I leave. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Guys, I'm on my way to Dakota's, going to the concert, I'm a little nervous. I don't think I could bring food in, which is kind of a problem because I get really hungry, but Protein shake and almonds. All right guys, so I guess I'm gonna end the vlog here. Wish me luck at my concert. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So excited to be on this journey with you guys. Let me know if you're joining me and let me know any questions you have below. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and we'll see you in the next one.